Hey guys, today we're going to go over chapter 6, 16 on normal and hard, it is 6.15 on expert mode. Now the general strategy for this is quite a tricky mission, especially when we get to expert. I'm going to have to rely on some legendaries, I'll try my best to use less if possible, but it's it gets quite tricky at these chapters, so it's going to be very dependent on what you have as an individual team. I'll do my best to suggest strategies, but again, it's going to be very gear dependent and very hero dependent. So let's have a look at what we've got to deal with. The main thing is the boss, Ludwig Gov, the Hierophant. He is a real pain to deal with. We can now see the monster skills in the updated version, which is lovely. Life leeching, lesser. Continuously steals HP from the last deployed hero. Abyssal designation, lesser. Targets the unit with the lowest HP. If the target's HP is less than 50%, deals massive damage to heroes near it. So those are the main two things. On top of that, we have a whole host of different adds to deal with. Adag's follower. High magic resist, Salem farmer, this is just like trash mobs, the barren Salems that are very tanky and hit very hard, the abyssal beholders with high magic resist, more abyssal holders, fallen archers that have very high physical defense and do really high damage ranged attacks while they're traveling towards you, and more stable hands, this one's with quite high attack. So primarily the main difficulty in this mission is of course Ludwig himself and the barren Salems that do appear. But the range damage that you take from the Adag's followers and from the archers do stack up quite quickly. So with that, let's get into normal mode first. Now, my normal mode team, this is going to be overkill, but we're just going to quickly go through this. I'll show the strategies again more in more detail on hard mode. So this will just be so you can see the differences between them. So the boss will spawn first at the top right after these few adds. You notice that they go around the bottom along here. So you will need to have... The way I like to do it is I have two fighters at the bottom and I have a actual tank at the top. He's going to take big damage around him. So I'll put down a healer. And I'll put down my main DPS facing the tank side. I rely on the fighters to deal with the bottom side. That is my strategy. And I'll use Lavania. Now notice again, there is a ring around the boss and it massively hurts any units you put in this. He will just destroy them. So you don't want to put any units within the red outline near the boss because you will just take massive damage and they will die. This is primarily the kind of rotation I start with. I have one healer, I would usually use Elowin but my Anvita is quite strong. And I would cover the main two sides, so the defender up top and then the two fighters that would be at the bottom. So the second fight would be somewhere like here but I won't place this one because he's not geared and I'm not sure how strong normal is. So yeah, this is basically the layout I'll have. The main damage dealer focusing this way. Two fighters who are also going to be heavy damage dealers on this side. So Scorch perhaps if you have him built. I've used Raft because he's easily attainable. And then Lavania is a fusion defender up top. So the main DPS will be protecting Lavania. But you'll see that the main wave of enemies to deal with that's quite hard comes at the bottom. So you definitely want to have a very good fighter at the bottom to handle that. Alternatively, you can def definitely do this in many ways. As you can see, I've only used four heroes at the moment. You can have defender on either side. I just struggled to have defenders built. I didn't have many when I was progressing in the game. Ludwig died very quick because this is normal mode. So I'll let the rest of this go on and then we'll get onto the more difficult hard mode and expert mode. All right, so we'll move on to hard mode now. You can see that the mission requires you clear it. You do not have let any enemies through, no damage to your soul core, and all heroes must be alive. You cannot have anyone die. And this mission does have a lot of burst damage. I'll use the exact same team as before, but I will endeavor to place more heroes this time. They're all a bit too built for hard mode, but bear with me. If your DPS is strong enough, you can start them like this to get some of the units out faster. The way I like to start is just to be safe and have my fighter down first to block the bottom lane. Once again, you can see that Ludwig has his cone here, so you definitely don't want to place anyone within that range, otherwise it will just mess with you. You'll take loads of damage, and you don't want to lose anyone, especially if you want free stars on hard mode. Now I will place my healer next. And I will place my tank up here. At this point, I can start looking to, do I want to have more DPS down? If so, I'll have a Shark King here. Again, he's outside of the red damage range. So now I have additional damage coming in from Shark King. He's being he healed by Anvita, but as you can see, Anvita is struggling a bit. If he goes below a certain threshold, health threshold, the boss is going to do AoE damage. So Vortex is a fantastic hero to place because of the coverage of his healing is so wide that I can cover the top lane, 
the bottom lane and the center island. So it's very good to have a healer like Vortex. The options it gives you are great. So now you can see I've got two primary DPS down, one here, one here. They are both kind of covering the top lane, which is problematic for the fighter at the bottom. However, the enemies will tend to flow past one lane to get to the other. So Shark King will have at least some coverage of those lanes. So you can see there, that will go straight past the two DPS. The reason I do this is I really want to give Levania as much space as I can. She's not got as much damage output as the fighters at the bottom do. Obviously, this my Wrath is fairly built. And the reason I like to put my fighter up here is, as you can see, the enemies funnel past this lane to get to the top lane. And I just want to whittle them down as much as I can to make it easier for the defender. I don't do the same with Lavania because obviously she would be inside the red area up top here. With my last two deployments, I would normally put another fighter behind Raph here. But I just want to reduce the AoE damage I'm taking at the moment. And then the last deployment I might save to catch any stray enemies from coming, but I don't want to leave anyone outside of healing range. The boss dies too quickly, but again, we'll, we'll wait till Expert. So for now, I'm comfortable just letting this play out, and we'll go back after this to Expert mode, and we'll see what it's like at the hardest difficulty. Moving on to Expert difficulty. Now I have to do it with no damage to my soul core. And I have to do it with only six heroes in the team. So you can see my team that was used for this has five here. So I obviously took a sixth hero to help me out. For this, I will try to use a slightly less stacked team. But I think I will have a lot of trouble as I don't have the fighters to rely on. I will drop out Salavik. I will unfortunately still take three legendaries. I don't have a decent defender built. Lavania will die. So you will definitely need to use an assist for this if you're on expert mode and you don't have a good stack of heroes to use. I rely on just Eloin. Her healing is good enough that she can handle this. This looks pretty decent to me. There's a lot of magic resist so I don't want to take someone like Vienna or Zealus. This is more physical damage focused. Lisa has good damage. I have my two fighters for the south side. I have a healer. I have the defender for the top side. I need one more DPS ideally to help deal with the waves of enemies. I will try with Shark King as he's a bit more accessible and we'll see how this goes. So only six heroes to place. Raph again at the bottom so he can hit enemies coming by. He has some self heal at fifth awakening as well which you may not have if you're pushing to clear this for the first time but this is one of the later waves so you definitely need to have a strong team to clear this. I will put Elowin down quite early just to be safe as his damage is now very high. And now we've got enemies coming up to the top so I shall place down my defender. At this point I need to start getting out some more damage so that I'm not completely locked. But you can see the amount of damage my Lisa is taking is not minor. So I'm going to put down my ult from Elowin just to keep people alive. You can see once again staying out of the red zone when placing heroes. And I would like to place Arrogance here just to help Raph. Because when these Baron Salem stack up on Raph, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. The damage is going to be very high. Ideally, you want to be in this situation where you're killing the enemies mostly before they reach your units. Because the damage heavy the damage is really heavy. So we have the ranged mage units here. Having a two-tile fighter at the back here really does help. You can obviously use a defender here as well. I like to use a fighter because then you can attack the wave as it comes by. You can't do this at the top as the boss's range will cover here. So this is the bottom lane is really where you can utilize having a fighter to cleave and hit enemies as they're coming past. So having Scorch or Valkyria or Arrogance, Salavik when his ultimate is up, these are great heroes to be able to deal damage to this additional tile and just get some more damage in before it reaches... See, my Shark King just took a massive amount of damage, so I'm going to ult early for that. And I will ult now because I really want to get the boss down before he gets more damage out on me. See, I am taking a huge amount of damage, so I'll start dropping a few more heals. These Pitchfork guys do quite a lot of damage. The boss goes down, and the rest of it should be fairly smooth. However, there is a wave at the end full of Baron Salems, which is usually where I either failed the mission or one of them got through. As you can see, I haven't even used Captain Reeve's ultimate, so... Any tanky defender will handle top fine. The Baron Salem's now are where the trouble comes in a bit more. I have enough damage to get rid of them on the bottom lane quite easily. My epic units are having a bit more trouble up the top side. So I'll need to start using more ultimates to get through them. But yeah, fairly clean. It's a pretty stacked team I use. I apologize for that. I don't really have many in-between units that would be able to handle it reasonably. 
the main strategy I would suggest is have the fighters on the bottom, try to have a two range fighter. A very good hero to use for assist is Hatsut, mainly because you see this tile here, so it's a bit small, where I put my Lisa. If you put Hatsut here, her ultimate can cleave a very useful area around that. She'll be hitting where your defender would be blocking. She'll be hitting to defend the bottom lane and she'll be hitting units that come past. So having burst damage marksman in this space is really useful. It's just a great way of clearing out the waves in time. An AoE healer is, is quite nice, but it's not actually that necessary. I mainly do it because when you're only able to play six heroes, placing two healers is quite tricky. And if you're defending both lanes at the same time and you're not killing them fast enough, then they will be whacking both sides at the same time and a single target healer will struggle a bit. However, outside of that, if you're able to kill them fast enough, a single target healer is more than enough, as most of the damage you'll take will be from Ludwig's single target attacks. So yeah, I would recommend, if you if you have an Elowin, she is fantastic for this. For DPS, I like to have one or two marksmen in the middle, two fighters at the bottom, and a defender at the top. You can definitely have a defender at the bottom as well. Like I said, I just want to get more damage out on the wave that passes through here up towards the defender. Ludwig himself, if you have the DPS to kill the adds, I'm almost always able to kill Ludwig before he gets to the bottom row. And if he does, you have fighters there anyway who can dish out the damage quick. So Ludwig dies quite quickly. My issue was to do with the Baron Salem's at the final stage, as well as the damage that came from the ranged units of the mage, these Adax followers, and sometimes the fallen archers were doing quite a lot of damage. So saving your ultimates, someone like Shark King with a long reaching ultimate can really help deal with that. Anyway, that's what I would suggest. There's obviously a whole bunch of ways of doing it. The fighters at the bottom cleaving enemies as they came by seemed to help me a lot. You can probably make do with two defenders, but your middle damage will need to be higher. I would definitely suggest grouping your units around the center island, that way your healers have better reach. And also you can hit enemies as they're coming past the center lane. So that's my suggestion. If you have other strategies or suggestions for other players, do let them know below in the comments as it will help other people out. And with that, thank you very much. Good luck and have a nice one. Bye-bye.